two, one. Hi, right, Corey Geiger along with Neil Riddell. 34 to seven win, the first win of the season, the first win of the Bill O'Brien era. Neil, all the players felt like they were just happier for Bill O'Brien to get the win really than for themselves. Well, sure, I mean, you take this job and then you turn around and the sledgehammer hits you between the eyes. Uh, you know, you have to recruit your football team every week as it is with all the sanctions. And uh, I, I do not think he could have handled himself better off the field in these last eight months. And I think they're making a lot of progress on the field, at least through today they did. Their defense played real well, and you get a blowout win, everybody feels a little better. Well, two things. They took a 14 nothing lead nine minutes into the game. I thought it was a great decision of his to take the ball at the beginning because this Navy team, if you watch them, they don't recover from they don't re, they don't come back very well with their offense. So take the ball, bang, touchdown, and then all of a sudden you put the pressure right on them. He said uh, uh, at the, when the season started, he was asked about how you're going to handle the kickoffs, and he said typically when they win the toss, they're going to defer. He said except when you get a team against a team like Navy, that your possessions may be limited. So uh, that. They've been really good in the first quarter. Yeah. I mean, they're outscoring the opponents 28 nothing in the first quarter. Their schemes are, are very impressive. So then you get the ball right back after you hold Navy, and then you get the 45-yard touchdown pass to Allen Robinson, who looks fantastic, by the way, five catches, 136 yards. You're up 14 to nothing, and again, against a Navy team, you can do a lot of things because you're forcing them, and that's where the defense really took over. Right, they made a great play when, when Navy did come down into the red zone. Uh, Stanley, uh, Hodges, uh, you know, the, this defense is really, you know, there, there's a guy like Mike Hull who, like a lot of these players, was thinking about leaving, and he gets a moment that he's obviously never going to forget, you know, returns a fumble 74 yards for a touchdown. Well, there are, some, there are a lot of positives for them to build on. The kicking game is still a question mark. Fourth and goal at the eight. They decide to go for it. Now, you and I both thought that was a little questionable. Yeah, I, I like the aggressiveness of going for it on fourth down, but I thought in that situation, you're going to need Sam Ficken at some point this year to make some kicks for you. Why not try to give him some confidence when you got a chance? Yeah, that was a little strange to me. And O'Brien said afterwards that he, he, want, he wouldn't take that back because he liked the play call that they had. Um, you know, maybe we'll get into this more this week with him. Had Ficken made the extra point earlier, would he have run him out there? You're going to eventually need him to, to make a big kick. That was a chance to build some confidence. Well, you know me, I love going for it on fourth down. So for me to question a fourth down call is a little unusual. But hey, you know, 34 7 win. The starting defense held, shut him out. They scored, Navy scored on the backups in, in the. Uh, fourth quarter, but really a lot of positives to build on. And not only just getting this win, you really start to build some momentum. You get some confidence uh, for these guys going into Temple and in the Big Ten season. Well, like Bill O'Brien said afterwards, winning cures a lot of things. And, you know, for as down as they were in the last couple weeks, I mean, you really look, the defense came out and played extremely well the first half against Ohio. They had that fluky play where I think that let the air out of them. Real hot day. They wore down a little bit. Played a great game against Virginia, except for that last drive. So, body of work for the defense is still, I think, uh, real good. Well, and let's keep in mind, this Navy team really can't throw the ball. What they do with the triple option is interesting, but they're not a Virginia or Ohio that can really put the ball in the air on third down. So, yeah, I, I, yeah there's no question the defense is impressive. But, I, you know, to me, the teams that are going to give Penn State some trouble are those teams that can still put the ball in the air. Yeah, but the Big Ten doesn't look overly impressive. Sure. Uh, the better teams, I think, in it, maybe Penn State doesn't play, uh, Michigan, Michigan State. And Virginia got killed today at Georgia Tech, which kind of surprised me. I didn't necessarily think Virginia was a great team, but yeah. I was surprised it was and, a rush like that. And Pitt beats Youngstown State? Yeah. Or Pitt beats Virginia Tech after losing to Youngstown State? You never know about college football, yeah. right? Thanks to Phillips Moore behind the glass. All right, for Neil Riddell, I'm Corey Geiger. Thanks so much.